The Army Upgrade Channel continues to bring you a look at the most promising weapons from around the world. Today we take a look at laser weapons, which are key to the next generation air dominance program. The US Air Force is looking at laser-guided energy weapons for use on combat aircraft in defensive and offensive roles as a key capability in the next generation air dominance or NGAD program. Work is also underway on countermeasures for these weapons and better integrating them into simulations and simulations using lasers in future air combat. The NGAD program is a comprehensive future air combat initiative that includes work on stealth combat aircraft with crews and various unmanned platforms, as well as new weapons, sensors, engines, networking and combat capabilities. All of these developments are expected to eventually form a coherent whole. It is worth noting that directed energy weapons include powerful microwaves as well as battle lasers. The main goal of the project was to develop laser-directed energy weapons, primarily designed to destroy approaching missiles and to have offensive capabilities. Self-defense and possibly broader close-quarters combat within visual range are likely to be the first practical examples of airborne laser weapons, although their capabilities could certainly expand over time. The Army Upgrade Channel reminds us that there was previously a heavily modified Boeing 747 airliner armed with a very large chemical laser. The basic concept of the aircraft was to offer a way to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles at the initial stage of acceleration. The program was finally cancelled in 2011 amid rising costs and questions about its practicality, and the aircraft was completely scrapped in 2014. But since then, tremendous advances have been made in smaller solid-state lasers. Lockheed Martin is working to test it first on obsolete combat aircraft such as the F-15 and F-16. It is very unlikely that the combat aircraft currently being developed under NGAD will look or perform like a traditional fighter jet. An autonomous laser-guided energy weapon system could find its way into other platforms, both crewed and uncrewed. A recently released Lockheed Martin concept art showed a design that is intended to be a stand-in for the sixth-generation combat aircraft being developed under NGAD. Testing of the first prototypes is expected to begin before the end of 2023. The Air Force is separately developing a laser-directed energy weapon to integrate into the AC-130J Ghost Rider combat aircraft, but it is a much larger system that is not suitable for a fighter-sized combat aircraft. The Air Force, Navy and Army are actively developing a number of other directed energy weapons, including laser and powerful microwave designs, for ground and naval applications. The Navy has already begun to place several types of directed energy weapon systems aboard various types of warships, some of which are powerful enough to shoot down enemy drones. In recent years, the Air Force's low-observable F-22 Raptor and F-117 Nighthawk combat aircraft, as well as the Navy's F-35C Joint Strike Fighters assigned to test and evaluation units, have also been coated with unusual mirror coatings. While the exact purpose or purpose of these metal coatings is unknown, they may be related to work on laser weapons or countermeasures for laser systems. All that said, there is a good correlation with laser countermeasures, as laser do can be used in air combat. The Air Force is considering laser-directed energy weapons on future advanced stealth combat aircraft and possibly other platforms as a key component of its future NGAD ecosystem. For a video of five secret military aircraft being built in the US, see the link at the end of the video. Today we will look at the Su-30SM fighter. This most numerous type of modern fighter Su-30SM in the Air and Space Forces and Naval Aviation of Russia began to upgrade to the version Su-30SM-2 having the nickname, Super Sukhoi. At the end of next year, the first fighter should pass all tests. During the upgrade, the machines will receive new engines, radars and smart armament, while the new Su-30SM-2s will also be purchased at the same time. It is believed that the new Su-30 SM-2 fighters will go to the naval aviation. The upgraded version of Su-30 SM will be unified with Su-35, about the most expensive machines of the fourth generation in the Russian aviation. The Su-30 SM-2 will receive an AL-41F1S aircraft engine. Its thrust will increase by more than 16% compared to the current propulsion system, up to 14,500 kg force. It has twice the service life and plasma ignition system. They made the engine more economical. The time between repairs reached 4,000 hours. Changes to the onboard electronics will allow the new missiles and bombs, 
created to arm the Su-35 and the fifth-generation fighter Su-57. The new radar is also unified with the Su-35. The Su-30SM for the Russian Air Force is based on the export version of the Su-30 MKI developed for India. The differences from the export version were introduced in the radar, communication and state identification systems. The set of available weapons and the ejector seat were changed. Serial deliveries to the Russian forces began in 2013. The total number in service is now about 130 units. The planes were also purchased by Kazakhstan and Belarus. A squadron was also received by Armenia. Today we look at the new Turkish upgrade of the M60 tank. Rocketson has given the Turkish army the first prototype of its upgraded old American M60A3 tank for testing. Equipped with a specially designed new modular Zerli Cool modular turret with automatic loader. The MZK turret for the tank is welded, equipped with modular armor including built-in dynamic protection and provides a higher level of protection compared to the existing turret. The turret's frontal protection from Cornet-type anti-tank guided missiles and all-round protection from RPG rounds with tandem charges are claimed. Installation of the PULAT active protection system is also planned. The standard M68105 mm rifled gun is retained, but a turret-mounted automatic loader mounted in an isolated location at the rear of the turret and holding 18 rounds is introduced. The crew of the tank is reduced to three men. There are two in the turret, respectively, and modern fire control, observation and communication systems are installed. The turret is equipped with panoramic 24-hour sights of the commander and gunner and a remotely controlled machine gun module. According to the photos, these are not installed on the prototype yet. In addition, an information system, laser warning system and new smoke grenade launchers are installed. As a result, the total weight of the new turret is 13 tons and is less than the weight of the regular turret of 14.5 tons. The tanks should also receive increased protection of the frontal part and sides of the hull and mine protection, as well as anti-mine grids in the rear of the hull and turret. An auxiliary power unit and video all-round vision system for the driver mechanic are being installed. The Turkish army now has about 600 M60A3 tanks, but there is no data on how many of them are to be upgraded. In addition, Rocketson hopes to promote this modernization project to a number of Middle Eastern countries still using M60 series tanks. See all about the US Navy Blue Angels pilot group at the end of the video at the link, and see you on Army Upgrade.